Welcome, beautiful ladies. This class is, <laughs> I'm here with the beautiful Michelle Palmer, Christbird Palmer. And today, her and I are gonna bring you a class, uh, flow motion, womb dance, coming home to our bodies for body love and building our confidence. Michelle and I just had a chat about confidence and how we need to get it so rooted in ourselves that nothing shakes it. We might feel sad, we might feel bad for a moment, but it doesn't shake our confidence. It doesn't shake, uh, it doesn't bring up the question, questioning, are we enough? Are we good enough? Are we lovable? All of this. So this is what we're dancing today. If you have a scarf, we're gonna be all over the place. The, uh, the, the playlist is really fun. It goes into some uh, belly dance movement pieces and then it goes into some some pop fun like anthems and goes into some uh, beautiful, uh, what are they? Uh, affirmation type songs. And I think all are important when we're building our confidence. So if you have anything, I mean, it could be this, this, a skinny one, or if you have a big, long one, we're just gonna play with fabric and I'll talk about that in a moment. And we're gonna start with some womb dancing. All right, ladies, get some water and we are gonna head off on our journey. Here we go. As always, I want you to communicate with me. I'm not gonna be only available for the chat. So give me a thumbs up or wave like crazy if the sound is bad. <laughs> Sometimes it conks out, right? Okay. Just find the pulse. These are movement rituals and we're gonna light this candle. Beautiful sister of mine makes these beautiful candles. It's called the Sacred Mother Candle. A big part of coming home to our confidence and body love is healing the inner mother, the mother wound. We light this candle for our mothers, for our inner mother, for rising up. Rising up in confidence and body love. For me, we may heal ourselves, our mothers. We're all doing our best. How do we find deeper confidence and trust in ourselves? Blessings on our dance. All right. So our body part warm up. Here we go. Sound good? You got enough volume over there? Okay. We're going to come into the dance through our pelvis and our womb. So wide stance, hands on the belly, low belly, hands on the womb. And we're gonna rock her. Yeah. Feel your spine rise from the base of your body as you sink and root. Really, this song is just really for you to come back to your body, find the sway, the pulse. Come home to yourself, breathing into your hands, into your low belly, the womb center. Breathe into your womb and rock. Start to feel what other body parts starts to want to rock free. Let your body go into that flow. It's your neck. It's the breasts and the heart. Womb and heart want to move. May your stories be told and your voices be heard. May you shine like the Fly like a bird on wings of liberation, we will rise. Humble to the earth to hear her cries. Let us join our hearts and voices and unite. It's time to take 
take a stand for the sacredness of life. Learn to step the feet in. Take a stand for the sacredness into the ground. Just taking your stand. What do you believe in? Believe it or not, that helps us with confidence. What we sneak a stand for. Bringing the hands off the off the body. Another body warm up. You just sing this song to yourself. Really listen to these words, and you're singing it to yourself. So to take time as you feel this song, just to reach. What would it take to make you love me? This is what your body sings to you. Our body sings this to us all the time, right? What would it take? <laughs> I. I wake up every morning and look gorgeous, but I say, ah! <laughs> Take a moment and be with your girl, this body. Stretch or be with her. Just take a moment, this song, to just connect in your own way. Get ready for the dance. Take your girl dancing. Sweep this beautiful body of yours, this beautiful mind, your feet. body release and sound mm, that needs to come release ah. what would it take Find the shape, find the shape. Let your body tell you, what would it take? We are all working through shit, right? <laughs> working through lineage, but right here, find what stops you, what hijacks you from loving yourself and feeling confident, might surprise you. Just notice, we're gonna dance with that a little bit more before we share the great joy of being witnessed, so important. Here we go, I'm gonna go deeper into the womb dance now. The 
Moon Dance, women opening through movement and breath in sacred space. Womb means sacred space. And we have one right here in our pelvis, our sacred space. In the Womb Dance, we dance wide-legged and a little lower. I want you to just, again, place your hands on your womb center. And you have your pinkies on your pubic bone, this bone right here. Your hands are going to fall right on your womb and ovaries underneath. And we're going to start with cervix circles. Just imagine the base of your womb, which is the opening, the way we came to earth through. It's the cervix. I want you to imagine you can feel that. And you're going to go in and be so kind, so gentle, so connected to that space. It's a micro circle. Find our way back to flow in the disjointed chaos of our lives. It takes that kind of deep presence. And don't worry, we're gonna get moving and laughing, but we're gonna start here. It's deep inside, right there, that circle, is something to tell us about the pain, the grief, the suffering that keeps us from loving ourselves, our body, feeling good enough. So right here, coming home to our bodies through the cervix, circle, little circle. Yeah. This is where the gentle yes comes. Yes Notice that little circle, the base of your body, impacts your whole body, your neck, heart. There's good reason for that. Meridian points. Let's breathe into the womb center. Feel your belly pooch out. Lean to the right leg and keep circling. You're going to actually be massaging different sides of the ligaments by leaning in a moment. Any tension and grief, the anger gets stored up in these ligaments, in the muscles, the base of our body. When we free them, we free ourselves. We free movement and mind in our bodies. Shifting the weight to the other side, circling, notice the difference. circle a little bigger so it's more perceivable. See it? Back to center now and we're going to move outward into a wider hip circle. Right, forward, left, back. Equally distance from that center point of the cervix. Cervix, that inner circle. It's about a middle finger length up from the pubic bone. Oh yeah, we start to heat up a little bit. <laughs> Moving from the hips. So kind and gentle with yourself. Hands start to slip off the womb now. And the hands start to follow the womb now. Hips and hands, wrists circling. Meditation. Start connecting. Flow of Shakti in the pelvis, 
the heart to the hands of the arms. This feminine line of light. Our hands expressing our feminine. Taking up our responsibility to dance the divine. The flavor that wants to move through us that could only we can bring to earth. responsibility it reminds us how important it is <laughs> to be ourselves to love ourselves right? let's bring ourselves back to center and start to circle deep within other direction bringing your hands to your heart now turning to the, toward the left or the opposite of what you did. Just really deep inner cervix circles. Feel the neck and jaw just start to release and start to dance. That is inner circle with your jaw, your neck. Good. Beautiful. Opening up that circle, wide hip circles. And coming to the left and circling, gotta bend that left knee. Yeah, good. And then sliding the, the weight over to the right, then we're circling the right. Slowing everything down, right? We find our flow. Woo! Such small motions, but I'm getting so hot. Anybody, I'm getting hot, Michelle. <laughs> Back to center, ladies, and let's make that big hip circle. As you come forward, draw the navel in. Strong core helps us to feel and strengthen our pelvis, our pelvic floor. And this kind of core energy really supports us feeling strong in our bodies, confident. Feeling the strength in our solar plexus, our confidence builds. Let's bring the energy from here, sinking down into the mother of the earth, we're circling her energy up into us. One of the things that keeps us keeps us confident is knowing that we're not alone, right? We're filled with this power of the earth. It's not us. It's the life force of mama. Circle it up. And then circling it up into the heart. And then out of the hands. Finding your expression. Pelvis, heart, hands. If you get lost, just come back to the hip circles. Feet on the earth, pressing down, circling the hips, up to the heart, out the arms. And you just find your own expression of that. Just circling to the left. So we find and rediscover our flows, connecting all the parts, finding that circle. Finding the reconnection, earth, body, womb, heart, hands, reconnecting, intentions, what do you dance for today? Find our flow, there's no beginning and ending, finding that movement that just keeps moving from 
heart to heart, guided by your breath. Let's have some dance journey time now, no talking, setting you free here. dance for. Find a word to bring in this wordlessness, this new experience that we're dropping into already. Get the words. What do you want? What do you dance for today? When we ask for words, our bodies will tell Stay with the movement. Stay with the movement. Down into the earth, circling the earth up, up to the heart, out the hands. Yes, Ma. <laughs> Palms up. Feel the power of your body. We've only just begun. What do you dance for today? When you dance for something, you dance for all women. Scarves. Here we go. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> All right. Any scarf you have is just fine. I thought I'd use this just to humor you all. So beautiful from India. <laughs> so We've got some classical belly dance music. So we've got the beat. And you have the, the flute, right? That little harmonious, uh, high-pitched. I want you to feel the pulse and feel yourself at the light of the day, your breath, moving around the pulse and taking your scarf with you to Feel, to feel how your body actually creates a trail when you create flow. Feel the, the way the fabric follows you. This is happening all the time, even if you 
even if you can't see it. So becoming aware of your impact on the light of a room with this scarf, the beauty you bring. Your body, your light body, becomes this in the energy field world. This is you danced with the flow of your light body. From the base, right out. Run with it. Play with this light that is here, trailing through. No beginning or end. If you stop, the trail of energy stops, right? So it's just you can't make a mistake. Just keep it going. Hips up and down, up, down, bent knees. Let the fabric be playful now. Up, down, turn, up, down, turn, up, down, turn, up, down, turn. That's all you have to remember, find your own dance, with the up, down, and the turns, your own flow with it. Rooting down into hips and feet, and circle with the flow. Shake it free. Let the fabric shake with your body. Because 
it's fun. <laughs> Shimmy those hips, let, let it fall. Let it fall, let the fabric fall like you're being unwrapped like a present. Right here at the hips, keep the vibration moving. Yes, here we go. Shedding layers, take it off. fabric just like your snake skin. You're breaking free. <sighs> finding, finding what's lovable about yourself. Ah, just have fun with you. This is your dance right now. Finding, finding yourself in the chaos. yourself in the chaos. Let everything go. Let the cool moves, the long dance, instruction, everything go. Give yourself to the beat. Give yourself to the earth. Give yourself over to you. Let the body 
body part that you are most judgmental of lead the way right now. Let them lead the way. Lead the dance. Responsibility to dance. Here we go. To embody the essence of our true divinity. In our souls, we are all dancers, healers, singers, and creators. Yes, Ma. We all have something powerful. To say, to give. Yes, we do. the rhythms of the earth with our inner rhythm we know how to walk on the edge of time and worlds earth mother deep support underneath our own feet. Yeah. Woman, the mystical force from which we all come. Earth, who nourishes us, who hosts us unconditionally. In your body, like the guitar, being plucked, music coming out of your body, how does your body move as this instrument of divine song? Is your life, is your joy, your emotion, your expression? How perfect are you from that perspective? Find your expression there. Find your expression that may not have a place world, you have to make space Woman, for it. The life giver, the peacemaker, and the portal to the other side. Deep breath in. How do you stay true? Be yourself. Here we go. Be you safe. Don't Bye. 
five-pointed star wide stance. Here we go. We're going to the grocery store. Divine Mama is back. Here we go. Quite like you. Oh no. Oh no. Claim it. Claim it. Try to imitate. Universe doesn't This is your anthem, sisters. It's like you were telling the story to your body, your expression, your emotion. Do it, do it, do it. All the way you live your life freely. Be yourself. Everybody else is taken. Be One shape to the next. Turning yourself into when your heart. a moving statue, a fluid statue for people to get to know Be you. The divine footprint that you're making on earth with this body. This life.
What if we walk away from every situation that we're not feeling confident? Oh well, you're lost. What? Oh well. <laughs> Bring me 
drums all around you. They're above you. They're below you. Power, this joy into the river. 
the river of life, the river of your life, the river of your body, your blood, your water. Flow. Spinal flow. Hips to heart, heart to hips. We're amazing. Nothing to prove. Find your dance here, sisters. Three movements, repetitive movements that you can take with you to remember this amazingness that you feel right now. Find that Find three movements you can repeat, just like the song repeating over and over again. Find your movements. Right here, right now, in the silence of life. Back to the mundane when the music isn't playing. Find those three movements right here. Let the song and the memory of this power, this confidence, this love move through you. Here we are, we're at the grocery store, let's do it. Three times, lock it in. Power dance, the confidence, the key to your confidence. These three movements bring you right back. One for good measure, one more. How do you feel? Check in with your body. What's happening? What's happening inside you? How do you feel? It's a little tender. What's wide awake smiling? Where are you? A few more songs to move to. A little pause for a little share. Just check in. What's happening? Stay moving in your spine as you share. Mm. You know, the, the word that I started in the beginning was connection. That was that my first sense. And I feel so connected, so powerful and soft and like vibrant and sensuous. <laughs> vibrant, like really sensuous. Mm. Holding it all and so grounded and connected. I can so feel that in you. And it's such a gift. You know, like to feel a woman in the world like that. It's like in her body, rooted, but also open and sensual. And the full union of her inner masculine and feminine and divine and wild and it's all there alive that's how i feel you it's so beautiful mm, wonderful thank you for seeing that in me feeling it <laughs> mm. so ladies who are watching in the future here you know, a lot of you are asking for the video and you'll be watching. Take time to really share this. Take time to feel witnessed by us. Even though we're here on the screen, we're actually imagining you in the future and you matter. 
and take this time right now to voice and feel and move what is it that's here now that's informing you that feels different that feels like a taste of body love and confidence that you might be able to play with express dance with again i'm just going to hold space for you for just a moment before we go on I'm breathing with you We're feeling into the future you, where you're watching this, smiling at your power and your beauty. <laughs> it's amazing. Can you feel that, Michelle? You can feel that. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So dear ones, we have a song here. Just another song or two to wind down. Get your scarves ready. We're going to have some movement meditation here to wind down. Scarves are wonderful for two reasons. If you're feeling really vulnerable and not confident, wrap yourself and just feel yourself being loved, held, feel the boundary, just something protecting you, even if it's from your own voice, right? It's also when we're freely expansive and we're like, fuck yeah, let's rock the world. Sometimes that energy can start to just fray us a little bit. We can make not maybe such good choices because we're just like, I can do it. <laughs> we want to make sure that energy gets grounded. And the scarves can be really wonderful to hold the energy, not snuff it out, but just help you find that queenly presence with it. Right? So feel the power of your job. Feel the power of that effervescence, that connection, that sexy, playful, like, oh my God, I love me. What was I thinking? I love me! <laughs> and wrap yourself. Just a gentle wrap, a soft protection. Let yourself move. Like the queen of body love and confidence. The queen in front of your people, right? Feel the scarf, a gentle protection and reminder that you are held. Your spiritual light, your guides are with you. There's no end to this feeling, this energy, it's yours. Smooth movements on earth here in your dance. Letting you to stretch or move to feel complete with your dance. Trust and listen to what and listen and trust. There's no time is one of the most important dances. Where our mind can start to kick back in. It's in the stillness. Rock the 
the mind. Let it stay positive and confident. Letting the scarf, your arms, be a hug. A hug. Be your prayer. Your commitment to prayer. To stay in love with your body, yourself, the faith of yourself. As a child, as a divine mother here, to bring her divine grace to earth through the body. Alleluia, huh? Have confidence in that, dear ones. What anchors me every day is the goblet of my mind. We are here for her, as her, the great woman. to close our dance home with our womb. One hand on our heart, one on our womb. Let ourselves rock on our sit bones and we wrapped in our love. I'm going to close with a simple meditation to just shine and feel the enoughness of just being in this place with yourself and letting it be glow outward, nothing to do. It's your enough just as you are, just the practice of that. To walk until my vision's clear and mind is still, following that subtle voice within. And though I may not see the path ahead, I am confident I'm taking one step at a time. I put my heart out on the line, and it will be one hell of a roller coaster ride, but I am ready. I am ready to shine, ready to shine, ready to shine, ready to shine, ready to shine. And I found my genius, got the keys, activated piece by piece. Oh, I already know and I've always got a choice. I'm committed to this dream, despite how crazy it may seem. And I refuse to die with songs inside of me. So though I may not see the path ahead, I am confident. I'm taking one step at a time. I put my heart out on the line. And it will be one hell of a roller coaster ride. But I am ready. Oh, yes, I'm ready to shine. Ready Still stay there, right there. Take a deep breath. Shining your light. So important when we're in this really open state to feed positive images so or positive voice, sound, words, replace the old stories, the old voices. 
continuing to shine. Notice what you are most confident about yourself. What's the thing about yourself, your work, your gifts that you're most confident about? Notice the thing that you have the most faith in. What's the deepest truth you know about your life? So these are the things that carry us through. These answers, these questions. When we dip back into the darkness, back, back into the, the dark places of ourselves, we know the answers to these questions guide us back up to rise and shine out again. And your love, your kindness. Just have a moment here before time, uh, we are scheduled to close and I just like to have a little time for someone else's voice besides mine. We can witness another woman's genius. So. Michelle, are you open? I feel um, so much light and, and love. That was what I really felt was the light and the love and that brightness and just this, um, this trust in, in the knowingness that I am that light and I can feel that brightness emerging. I mean, it, it's not even emerging, it's already out there. I think I'm just in some ways becoming more aware of the light and um, so much gratitude in the journey. You know, we're, we're all on these incredible journeys and I'm grateful for the space the opportunity to experience this together in community for those that are out there watching now, even though like there's no space and time, but we're doing this journey together. And I'm so grateful, Ishia, for you holding this beautiful space for us. <laughs> you really, it's, you know, it's transformative space and you are like the divine mother in this space. <laughs> I, I feel you so, so much, and and you you help me feel my shine too. Thank you. Oh, I'm so I'm so glad. I mean, it's so like that song says, um, the Brown Wilt Mars song. It's like I wish you could see what I see. You know, I feel like that's that's so true for all of us as sisters. Right? It's like wow, you're amazing, <laughs> and and that's what we can do. Um, I talk about this in my retreats, you know, the, the feminine art of, that's the word I use, um, I'm drawing a blank, there's a whole teaching I do, it's called feminine art of, of feminine art of praise, you know, because we become each other's mirrors, for, for some reason we've lost our way to really see and feel our beauty, our, our power, our amazingness and love. You're such a light in my life, so I'm always so happy I can, I can be that for you and create this space for us. It's I love that energy. idea of being a mirror. Like, I mean, I know we are, and I go, but I think I'm going to take this with me today mm -hmm. and just like really be be the mirror and be the light. You know, it's it's both. Yeah. Um, that like yes. non non duality. Yeah. yeah, what are you marrying back to people, right? I mean, all of us, men and women, I mean, but, you know, women have this a little more, but I think men want this too, just to be reflected, their beauty, their joy, their, their impact, right? Mm -hmm. um, what was I going to say? Uh, I want to give thanks to the musicians. Um, Spotify has made it so easy to just search. I mean, it's still a lot of work to find, but like, it, it's like this, everything is contained and I just, whenever I have a theme, it's just, I go into this meditation and I just start 
following this intuitive search for songs that feel like they come together from all these different genres. And today I was dancing with just so much gratitude for the musicians because people are out there singing songs that I would create if I was a musician. <laughs> I just, I'm so amazed at, at the alchemy because I feel like the songs and the words really, like they're mimicking the writing I do before I even go search for the songs and they bring our dance to life. And I just, <laughs> I just want to offer a gratitude to the musicians and, and I know how hard it is to be an artist and get your work out there and, and survive and financially. And so um, just, you know, Spotify makes it so easy to use the music for free and uh, finding ways to, it's not free. I mean, there's a membership, but, you know, they get pennies. And so I just I want to just send them light since you know, I can't pay them all, <laughs> but let's pay them with our light and just every single one of them, just the way they, they brighten our dance and inform our dance. Uh, just, just send them so much love, so much, so much light on their path, creating, creating. And I just, um, just wanted to name that. I haven't done that in a while. So bless the, bless the musicians. And when you see the playlists, if you enjoy them and just you really want to go have one of the albums of one of these beings, you know, maybe once in a while buy an album. That's what I do once in a while, just to have, just to support them because uh, it's amazing work they do, right? Wow. Let's see. We have one more minute. Anything I want to share? Um, The, the word, our responsibility to dance to embody the essence of our true divine self, our true divinity. Responsibility, not as a guilt, right? But as a, as a joy. It's, it's yours to do if you want it. You know, and I find, um, I came from a very crazy upbringing. So I have all those voices too of, I'm not good enough, I suck, you're too dramatic. You know, all the things, all the voices from childhood that, that make us feel bad about ourselves. And we all have a version of that. That's just part of being human, a culture. But this idea of the responsibility is like, you're so amazing. We're all so amazing. And I find such great power in knowing like it's my responsibility not to wallow in those voices and to find the, the ones that are my true essence, my true divine purpose here. And because that's what my life is here for. And even those moments that have hurt us and shamed us and brought us to our knees, it's part of that journey because the way we learn to rise out of that pain, we get stronger in, in the power of love, in the power of our light and divinity. So it's, it's just, it's all perfect. <laughs> And some moments of it are so fucking hard, right? But that's why the songs carried us right into our divinity and then out into pop culture, into the grocery store. And that's really, I feel like the, the path we leave is, you know, we can't just get lost in like, you know, the, this the woo, because we got to go to the grocery store. So how do we keep that power, that clear light? even when we're in you know, places that aren't singing our phrases and songs <laughs> or we date a guy who's insecure and treats us like crap or whatever it is, how do we center in that divine knowing no matter what's happening? And that's, that's, the, that's the yoga, that's the practice. It's never done or we're perfect at it. It's just, I know a lot of the powerful, powerful leaders and and musicians and people you would think who just have their shit together and they're confident and they never have a hard mindset, but they do. They do. Every human being has some, some variety of this. And so we're not alone and uh, we're all in this together. And it's just a practice. So it's going to leave us with that. And we're right at 1030. <laughs> All right, we're going to close this uh, recording. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, comment, tell us and we'll come, we'll find you for uh, to witness you in your journey.
and this is Ishilin. You can find me at ishilin.com uh, if you want to have a tea date and learn more about the programs, the priestess program and the body wisdom. I'll see you soon.